Here's lightning round. You ready? I'm going to give you a word, a name, and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, or a little bit longer than the first thing that comes to your mind. Let's see what you're going to say. Your brain is a fast brain, so let's see what you're going to say. First one, Edward Snowden. Patriot. Really? Ted Cruz. Patriot. Back to back, Julian Assange. Patriot. Bernie Sanders. Vampire. Putin. Nationalist. Beto. Beto is the one that's going against Ted Cruz. Uh, mental, mental retard. Bill Gates. Eugenicist. Elon Musk. A scared man. Really? LeBron James. Retard. Colin Kaepernick. Retard. Steve Bannon. Traitor. David Brock. Vampire. Hillary Clinton. Vampire. Barack Obama. Vampire. Bush. Vampire. Trump. Next level. Did you say next level? Next level. Moses. Trump is Moses. Oh, yeah. Elaborate. What do you mean by Trump is Moses? He's the real freaking deal. My gut knows it, and it's all clear. He's, he's pro-human. He wants progress. He is one of just, he's already had everything, and he's, he's dialed in to the real deal. I guess they call that the deliverer. Trump's the deliverer if we take it. We've already seen it. We've already seen everything suppressing us. And then as soon as he comes in, grass and flowers and power. Just, everything's waiting right now. Alex, assume uh, 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 anybody there that's a decision maker is watching this. I'll give you the final thoughts. What are you thinking about right now? You have the platform. You have the audience. What would you like to say? I'd say the decision makers are already watching. And I think the decision makers already know the choice. They're just afraid to stand up to this anti-human thing. And they're afraid that the public isn't willing to make the right decisions. But that's what leadership's about. And so people have to decide which side they're on. I mean, this is like a big space walk. They say those astronauts walk out from the space station or from the space shuttle, it's like, you're looking down at the Earth, 10,000 miles, you're looking up at infinity, and it's like, they say there's nothing like it, and that, that's it. You have to believe in humanity, and if you just do that, everything else follows. So that's it, that, and that's why they don't like me. If you ask that question over and over again, is because I don't fear them. I've already been around the bend. I've already seen where it goes, and uh, that's scary, because they've not been there. But they will be there soon enough. They're going to meet their maker. And they're going to face God eye to eye with pure consciousness. And they're going to have to decide who they serve.